Hi, welcome to Ethereum Mechanics video number 35. Uh, in this video we're going to show you the path forward for unifying electricity with gravity. My name is Robert Distinti. I'm an electrical engineer with over 30 years experience. I got started in this whole Ethereum Mechanics because one day I was trying to calculate the inductance of an inductor and found out it could not be done and then that led to, hey, just about everything, can of worms opened and found out just about everything is wrong when you go and look at it in real detail. So in this I'm going to demonstrate a simple unification of electricity with gravity. And we start off by using the rule of acquisition number 22, the common behavior tell. If things are or appear to be acting alike, then there must be a reason or cause, and you can read that on your own. Again, I'm using this again. For all those people who have wondered if there is a link between Coulomb's model and Newton's gravity, watch closely. I mean, look at these models. They look alike. I know I've used this in one of the previous videos. I'm using it again because it works. Okay, these models act alike. They're almost identical in form. And if they look almost identical in form, there must be an underlying root cause why they look alike and act alike. Rule of acquisition 22, the common behavior tell. First, let's look at empty space filled with ethons. Because there's an even number of positive and negative ethons, this space has zero, virtually zero inertia. But now, if we throw a proton in there, and what I'll show you in later videos is that protons consume, or positively charged particles, consume negative ethons. And because they consume negative ethons, they throw off the positive ethons. Negative electric fields are created by negatively charged particles, in this case I'm showing an electron, consuming positive ethons and throwing off the negative ethons. And for simplicity, I'm going to show it, instead of showing billions of dots, I'm just going to show a simple schematic representation of this. Okay, for the electron, a positive-negative ethon pair comes in, the positive is consumed, the negative is thrown off. In the proton, the positive-negative ethon pair come in, the negative is consumed, and the positive is thrown off. That's a positive electric field, that's a negative electric field, shown in, in schematic form. So what's gravity? Well, gravity, you have a proton and an electron working together. The, pro the electron c pulls in the positive and negative pair. It sucks up the positive, throws off the negative. The negative is consumed by the proton. Okay, And there's how you get your net ether flow into a body that has mass. And we can represent that like this. Here's a hydrogen atom, which is a, at least a proton and an electron, consuming ether pairs in whole, and that is gravity. So gravity is two halves of the electric field, for lack of a better way to say it. And we can put it down here. A positive ethon consumption plus negative ethon consumption equals ether consumption, which isn't the force of gravity, but it's the cause of gravity. The actual force of gravity is electromagnetic induction, and we're going to cover that in, in a later, uh, much later video. So this is a general overview. This is not the complete story. It's enough to show you where we're going. We need the new math construct to reconcile the mathematical models. Then we can show how tons are constructed from pretons. And then we can show how the actual force of gravity works along with magnetism, time dilation, the precursory models of energy. Later we, we can develop the new model for light propagation. And because gravity and Coulomb are intimately related, we should be able, and we will be able, I should, I should have said, we're, we are going to eliminate a constant of relation. Okay, this represents a true unification of fields, because we're getting rid of these silly constants of relation, which are basically just the earmark of empirical data. Now, I'm not sure that, that this has ever occurred before, but uh, I haven't really looked. So let me make a definition for protonics. Electric and magnetic fields are synthesized from the behavior of pretons and ethons, which we covered in this and the previous videos, or the previous videos. Okay, the mathematical models for these interactions were one, I was going to call them new electromagnetism V5, and that's why I introduced it in all the previous videos. Um, but these are precursory interactions, and they're, they're significantly different from electric and magnetic fields that it's proper at this point to call them something else. So I'm going to call them pretonics or pretonic field equations. Um, in the end, I'm going to show that all the predictions of relativity can be derived from the pretonic equations. 
but these new derivations show how things actually work and it will show that mankind will break the light barrier by leaps and bounds. Now I've got this picture from Wikipedia. Okay, So what's next? Uh, we have to wait for the new math construct to come through. That's at least two months. Uh, I'm almost done with the papers for submission. Also I have two months of radiation therapy because I have cancer. Um, so I'm not going to be pretty active on the video thing. Maybe I'll answer some you know, comments or whatnot. Uh, so there'll be no major releases uh, until the new math construct comes out. Maybe one other distinct uh, world video. Thank you. Get the word out. Uh, I think we have enough here for to keep you guys um, busy for a little while until we get back from all this other stuff I got to do. Thank you. Oh, uh, subscribe. Get the word out. Uh, give me thumbs up. Do it all. Do that happy horse. Happy horse crap. Take care. Bye.